Good morning, guys. My favorite cup. Uh, it's 6.20 in the morning, and we are getting ready to go to our 9 to 5 job. Actually, it's 8 till 4.30. I'm so grateful for it because it's nice to wake up and have a routine and actually go and do something. It's nice to be surrounded around people. My boss is awesome. Uh, yesterday, I made my boss laugh so much. I mean, like, just the stuff, you know, I was, I was joking. And he was just like, oh, my God. It was good. It was good to banter. I mean, we banter quite a lot because why not? But it was funny. It was so funny, actually. Even my teammates were laughing. Um... Anyway, so yes, I just want to say I am just sitting here and doing my daily gratitude. That's what I recommend you all to do it. As you can hear, I'm still a little bit tired, but I'm happy because I get to go to work. I get to go and make money. I get to do what I love and I get to drive my son to daycare and then school, um, you know, and I like that, you know, I, I want this kind of like guys. I remember when I was like in my 20s. I said, I do want to have a son and I want to get married in my 30s and have this kind of ordinary family life with this, you know, routine and it's working out pretty good. But guys, this is something that I want to talk to you. Uh, I'll talk to uh, Pete last night. I mean, I messaged him and he messaged me back a lot and a um, big shout out to Natalie um, and Tom, my best friends and, and Simi and I do have good friends, guys, believe me or not. <laughs> I have great, great friends that are surrounded. So anyway, um, you know, I am I am very busy, but uh, as you know, I do make a video as I feel. So this morning I feel like doing it because it's something really important needs to be said, you know. So here it is. On Saturday, we had a fantastic birthday party and it turned out so good. And... You know, it was 14 people, you know, here. And it was six adults and, and eight kids. And it was awesome. Absolutely awesome. I really enjoyed it. It was a school friends, daycare friends, and soccer friends. So, mm, I had a too big of a sip. I, as you see, I actually haven't brushed my hair yet. But that is coming. That is coming very soon, okay? In a few, a few minutes. <laughs> Forgive me, forgive me for my appearance, but whatever. <laughs> anyway, um, so, um, so anyway, life has been good, guys. Um, life has been busy, and actually, I want to show you something quickly. See this? See this, guys? Me and my son, we are playing chess every day. Like literally, like we are literally becoming addicted and I got them from Mike Martin's store. So shout out to Mike Martin's. Um, I love it. I love it. Anyway, going back to the point, because I got to get ready. Um, I got to finish my makeup and I got to get my son ready. I think he's still dozing in his bed. Um, so I was like, on Saturday, I was like, I have no chairs. Like, I don't have 14 chairs or at least six I have like literally three chairs for outside, right? So I was like, see me, like I called, like I called my friend who actually used to be my ex neighbor, two houses down, and with whom I'm still friends because her also son is very good friend with mine, and I'm still friends with my old neighbors, Lisa, Naomi, and see me. These are the friends that I keep in touch with, and I talk to regularly, and they actually come, uh, <clears throat> you know, come to my house and. So I was like, can you please bring me some chairs? And she's like, of course. And then I totally forgot to give it to her. And I was like, oh, I'll, bro I'll bring it to you on Sunday. But then Sunday, I stayed home all day. And I was like, I just need chill. You know, like you need that day when you just relax, when you just don't want to do anything. So two more minutes, guys. This, is, this needs to be said. So I'm like, Simi, I'm coming after school, right? After school with Dominic and bring you the chairs. And I said, listen, I don't want to park on the on the road because I don't want my ex neighbor to scratch my car like she did, because she did. And I swear on my life, she scratched my car. So, because I actually have a proof of it, but the law here is disgusting. The police in Canada are fucking useless. 
absolutely fucking useless. Mm. And I hope the police actually does watch the video because you guys are fucking useless. Um, anyway, so the see me, it's like, don't worry, park on the driveway. So I go and park on the driveway and I'm like, you know, we're not going to stay long. Uh, we're just going to chill for five minutes and we're going to go because I am tired and I'm hungry and, you know, I, I want to go home. But, you know, I was quite uneasy because I was like, I've got to go back to... That was actually the second time I went back to the neighborhood <laughs> since I moved out and since I moved on. And as I was, I was driving away, my ex-neighbor um, husband came out on the drive and I looked at Dominique as I was driving. I was like, oh my gosh, she's probably going to post something, you know. And she did, and she did, and she did, and she did post it, you know. Totally unaware the reason why I was in the neighborhood. She should have known that I have friends that listen to me, see me, I'm my friends, I'm my friends for almost five years. And they're always going to be my friends, no matter what happened in life, always. And I'm going to go to the neighborhood more often once the weather gets better because Dominique's going to play with his friends there. And I'm going to go to the parties that Naomi hosts because I'm always there at every single party and I'm good friends with her. I mean, like, you know, just because I moved out doesn't mean that I cannot come back. Like, come on. Like, you know, so she posts, guys, on 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 her face because I was like this. I haven't checked her Facebook for a while. I don't give a shit. But when I saw her husband, I was like, she's probably has this entertainment in her boring ass life. She's probably going to post something now. And she did. She's like, you know, oh, my God, my ex has my husband uh, goes with a garbage. And uh, who does she he see my crazy neighbor and, and like people commenting on, on that, that. I'm a stalker that. Oh, my God, be careful that I'm going to hurt her. <laughs> I'm sorry. You see, guys, cyberbullying and spreading lies and slandering somebody is disgusting. What she's doing is she's still trying to get to me and trying to abuse me from far away because she's so bored in her fucking life. She's broke as fuck. I mean, broke as fuck. She's not doing well. She's home stuck all day. She barely leaves the fucking house. Uh, she lies to people about her bullshit network marketing, how well she's doing. She's drowning in debt. I swear to God. She, that's the lie about the network marketing. Uh, I can't wait till it finishes. I can't wait because you know what is the message, guys? I feel extremely sad for all the people that follow her because they believe every single thing she says. She says that I'm a stalker and I go to her. Honey, you going to see me more often. Because listen to me, okay? And see me, let me remind you. And that's fine with names. They are my friends. And they have been to my house. And they are my friends. And they are going to be my friends. And I'm going to go there, whether you like it or not. You cannot stop me. Just bear with me. Baby, put clothes on. Hang on a second. Alexa, what time is it? Alexa, what time is it? Baby, it's 6.38. We have 42 minutes. Honey, put your clothes on, okay? Brush your teeth and pack your backpack. Anyway, we have 42 minutes to go. And all I have to do is finish my makeup and pack my son lunch. And, yeah, and finish my coffee. But anyway, guys, um, because, you know, guys, I love to talk. And once I start, I can't, I can't stop. Anyway, <laughs> honestly. <laughs> Shit. Um, and this coffee is espresso coffee, so definitely doing a job but guys you know it did hurt last night i'm not gonna say i'm like my god like you know like you painted me as this crazy but the thing is like i can still sue you i have the power to sue you but suing you means bringing you back to my life and going to court with you but if you don't stop and one day i will just fucking had enough i'll sue you for slander i'll sue you for bullying cyber bullying because i have enough proof I mean, like, you know, yeah, it costs money. Sure, I have the money. But I mean, like, you gonna go in in a hot water. And, like, you know, sure, she doesn't um, 
put their name on their post, but it's 150 percent about me. Like you know, and it's it's sad because I did not go there to see you, honey. I didn't even want to see you. I was like dreading to see you because you fucking asshole. You piece of shit. You're a, you're that kind of human that should be depopulated. Yeah, I'm. A, I'm I'm just gonna call Bill Gates later on and kind of like ask him to take you off first. Cause you're a cunt. Like you you know, you know guys, I had messages from my friends Natalie, Tom, Pete Roaming Prepper, and few Iman Preet, my best friend. Um they like Don't worry, she's nobody. You know? She's a narcissistic abuser that paints herself as the victim. And I'm like, I feel bad. Part of me feels bad because I, I was so busy lately. I haven't even checked her Facebook, which I said I'm going to stop doing because it just doesn't do me any good. It's not serving me any good. But yesterday when I saw him, I was like, oh, my God, she's probably going to post 100%. She's probably gonna post something, and she did. Like her ex, you know, I'm the crazy ex-neighbor that stalks her. Give me a fucking break. Give me a fucking break. I'm very successful, and I'm very busy with life. I don't have time, nor the need to stalk you. So guys, this is this needs to be said, because cyberbullying hurts people, and police in Canada is useless um, to what she did, you know, because Bet with me, if I did what she did to me, I would have been arrested because I'm not Canadian. Oh, 100%. 100%. 150%. I even spoke to police guys once uh, from different districts here in Starbucks once. And they said, yeah, she could have been arrested for what she did to you. All the proof that you have, she should have been arrested. Absolutely. But my district police, nah. Not just warning, 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 warning. She's a psycho. She's somebody who should not be staying home. She should be hospitalized. The lies, the slanders, the bullshit, it's disgusting. And people suffer because of her. Because, guys, this is how I'm going to end this video. I swear to God, I'm not the only person that suffered because of her. I swear. She probably hurt so many people, and I'm her latest victim. And I'm not going to be playing victim. I'm going to be strong and I'm going to rise up. And I'm going to continue with my day. I'm going to go to my work. I'm going to smash it. I have a busy week. I have students. I have a lot to do. I have soccer. I have a busy life. I have a YouTube channel that I like to post sometimes and talk about life without bullshitting, without making people look like, without making myself look like, you know, oh, I'm the best. I'm not. I don't even wear makeup now. Literally just put a little foundation I don't need filters because I'm content with myself I'm comfortable with who I am anyway guys have a beautiful day and please don't bully don't cyber bully don't be a fucking asshole don't assume don't hurt people and may the depopulation begins please thank you guys